There you are. We should get out of here. I don't think this place is safe. You said you didn't know about the Thorian. I don't like being lied to. I... I was afraid. I wanted to stop the tests, but they threatened me. Told me I'd be next. When the Geth attacked, I stayed behind to send a message to Colonial Affairs. I tried to tell them where to find the Thorian, but the power cut before I could send the message. I... I never meant for this to happen. Just tell me where I can find the Thorian. No more lies. The Thorian is underneath Zoo's Hope, but the entrance is blocked. The colonists covered it with the freighter just before the Geth attacked. But why are the Geth after the Thorian? What could Saren want with it? Well, it does have unique mind control capabilities. That's what Exogeny was interested in. Normandy to shore party, come in. What is it, Joker? We're getting a lot of Geth comm shatter. Looks like they're headed your way. You heard the man. Let's move out. I'm coming with you. I might be able to help. Undo the mess I helped create. You can't do this, Jong. Everyone shut up! Uh, let me think. What's going on? You won't get away with this. Get her out of here! Get away from her, you son of a bitch! Lisbeth! Damn it! Come, come out where I can see you! All of you! <sighs> Shepard, damn it. I knew it was too much to hope the Geth would kill you. I found some interesting facts about you in the Exogeny database. I know what you did on Torfin. There's no reason for this to get bloody. Not this time, Jean. You need to back down and let them go. You, you don't understand. It's not that easy. Communications are back up. Exogeny wants this place purged. This is a human colony, Jong. You can't just repurpose us. It's not just you. There's something here far more valuable than a few colonists. Are you gonna tell them about the Thorian, or should I? The what? It's a telepathic life form living under Zeus' hope. It's taking control of the colonists there. Exogeny knew all along. You won't get away with this, Jong. So you keep saying, but nobody's gonna miss a few colonists. You're a bean counter, Jong. I'm a specter. Tell me, how good are those odds? Specter, it's a load of crap. There aren't any human specters. Right? Is that really a chance you're willing to take, John? 
Exogeny will send more assayers. They'll know what happened. Tell them the Geth destroyed the Thorian. Yeah, but the infected colonists can't be here when the company men come. You can't just kill the colonists. It's not their fault. If you kill only the Thorian, it might be enough to stop the infection. Maybe. It's worth a try, but I don't know if I can avoid harming the colonists. There has to be another way. Maybe there is. Come and talk to me before you leave, Commander. Just make sure there's no evidence when you're done. Any luck finding my workstation out in the ruins? I managed to find the data and transfer it to your OSD. That's very good news indeed, thank you. Just give me my credits and I'll be on my way. You bet. Thanks for all your help, Commander. I'm glad you've decided to help us. I think there's a way to avoid killing the colonists. You've got one minute. I think you could safely use a nerve agent to neutralize the colonists. Like a gas grenade. Releasing clouds of nerve gas doesn't seem like a particularly good idea. It's not like it's weapons grade. The insecticide we use in the grow labs contains trace amounts of tetraclopene, a neuromuscular degenerator. If their nervous systems are already weakened, it may act as a paralyzing agent. If we must consider it, drop it in a concussion grenade. Sounds good. I'll do what I can. Excellent. Thank you so much, Commander. We'll stay out of your way until you clear a path. Good luck. not one of the colonists. No amount of infection could have done that. No hitting the colonists, even if the Thorian makes them fire on us. That's what the gas grenades are for. As you would have it, Commander Shepard.
tried to fight it, but it gets in your head. You can't imagine the pain. I was supposed to be their leader. These people don't trust me. It wants me to stop you, but I won't. I won't! All right, we just need to find this creature and determine what it... what it... Kila. What is that? Nothing's ever simple, is it? Invaders, your every step is a transgression. A thousand feelers appraise you as meat, good only to dig or decompose. I speak for the old growth as I did for Saren. You are within and before the Thorian. It commands that you be in awe. You enslaved the colonists. You destroyed their minds. I don't know what Saren wanted with you, but I just want you dead. The Thorian is a piece of this world. Extending across the land and back through the ages. You can no more kill it than cut the sky. Your blood will cleave the ground in the new growth!
I'm free. I... I suppose I should thank you for releasing me. Is everything all right? Are you hurt? I am fine, or I will be, in time. My name is Shiala. I serve, I, I served Matriarch Benezia. When she allied herself with Saren, so did I. Benezia foresaw the influence Saren would have. She joined him to guide him down a gentler path. But Saren is compelling. Benezia lost her way. Are you saying Saren can control minds? Benezia underestimated Saren, as I did. We came to believe in his cause and his goals. The strength of his influence is troubling. She tried to manipulate Saren, but in the end, her plan backfired. Asari matriarchs are among the most intelligent and powerful beings in the galaxy. How could one fall under Saren's control? Saren has a vessel, an enormous warship unlike anything I've ever seen. He calls it Sovereign. It can dominate the minds of his followers. They become indoctrinated to Saren's will. The process is subtle. It can take days, weeks, but in the end, it is absolute. I was a willing slave when Saren brought me to this world. He needed my biotics to communicate with the Thorian to learn its secrets. Saren offered me in trade. I was sacrificed to secure an alliance between Saren and the Thorian. That's what you get for trusting Saren. Saren is quick to betray his followers, and his allies. Once he had what he needed, he ordered his Geth to destroy the Thorian. Saren knows you are searching for the Conduit. He knows you are following his steps. He attacked the Thorian so you could not gain the Cypher. What's the Cypher? And why did Saren need it? The beacon on Eden Prime gave you visions. But the visions are unclear, confusing. They were meant for a Prothean mind. To truly comprehend them, you must think like a Prothean. He must understand their culture, their history, their very existence. The Thorian was here long before the Protheans built this city. It watched and studied them. When they died, it consumed them. They became a part of it. So the Thorian taught Saren to think like a Prothean. How? The Cypher is the very essence of being a Prothean. It cannot be described or explained. It would be like describing color to a creature without eyes. To understand, you must have access to endemic ancestral memory, a viewpoint spanning thousands of Prothean generations. I sensed this ancestral memory, the Cypher, when I melded with the Thorian. Our identities merged, our minds intertwined. Such knowledge cannot be taught, it simply exists. You taught Saren, you can teach me. There is a way. I can transfer the knowledge from my mind to yours, as I did with Saren. Try to relax, Commander. Slow, deep breaths. Let go of your physical shell. Reach out to grasp the threads that bind us, one to another. Every action sends ripples across the galaxy. Every idea must touch another mind to live. Each emotion must mark another's spirit. We are all connected. Every living being united in a single glorious existence. Open yourself to the universe, Commander. Embrace eternity. I have given you the cipher, just as it was given to Saren. The ancestral memories of the Protheans are part of you now. What was that? Commander Shepard, are you alright? 
All I saw were more weird visions. It still didn't make sense. You have been given a great gift. The experience of an entire people. It will take time for your mind to process this information. You look a little unsteady, Commander. Perhaps you should return to the Normandy. I am sorry if you have suffered, but there was no other way. You needed the cipher. In time, it will help you understand the vision from the beacon. What else can you tell me about Saren? There is little I could tell you that you do not already know. He's powerful, he's charismatic, and he is dangerous. Once I followed him, blind to his true nature, but now I see he is leading the galaxy into an age of darkness and suffering. Do you know what the conduit is, or where it is? No, I'm sorry. All I know is that Saren believes the conduit was the key to the Prothean extinction. That can't be good, whatever it is. You have the cipher. In time your visions will clear, they will lead you to the conduit. I only pray you find it, before Saren does. Is there anything else you can tell me about the Thorian? When the creature enveloped me, I became part of it. But I still don't truly understand it. So alien, so ancient. Its exact age is impossible to know. It measured time differently. Ten thousand years of hibernation broken by a few frantic centuries of activity. Its mind was awesome, magnificent. It transcended all classification. And now it is gone. Don't tell me you feel sorry for that thing. The Thorin was a unique life form. A sentient being that lived for 50,000 years, maybe more. There is nothing even remotely like it in the known galaxy. I am grateful you saved me from a life of thraldom. Yet I cannot help but feel some sorrow for the loss of such a rare and remarkable creature. I want to know more about you. There is nothing remarkable about me. I was merely one of Matriarch Benezia's disciples. For nearly two centuries I followed her, learning at her feet. When Benezia revealed her plan to join Saren, she gave her disciples a choice. Only those who were willing had to follow her. Many felt her plan was too dangerous. But I believed in her. I thought she could turn Saren away from his insanity. Instead, we joined him in it. Now that you're free of the Thorian, what are you planning to do next? If you allow it, I would like to stay here with the colonists. They have suffered greatly, and I played a role in their suffering. I would like to make amends. The colonists will need all the help they can get. They'll be happy to have you on their side. Thank you, Commander. May fortune smile upon you. I can't believe it. Jong says we'll have all the money we need to keep this place running. It's because of you, Shepard. I can't thank you enough. <laughs>